When white Europeans first encountered black people, they immediately recognized their strength and dominance. It was apparent to them that if black people were granted the same opportunities and resources as white Europeans, they would surpass them in various aspects of life, including social, economic, political, and even private spheres. This fear of black dominance led white Europeans to strategize ways to marginalize and alienate black individuals, as noted by K. Marx, who highlighted the threat perception that drove white Europeans to become ultra-defensive and impose racist systems. But what were the underlying reasons behind this perception of black Africans as a threat? Let's delve into that in this video from the Black History Archives. Number 8. Economic Independence Threat Throughout history, white Europeans viewed black individuals as a threat due to their potential to achieve economic independence. This posed a direct challenge to established power structures and economic exploitation. Black communities striving for economic autonomy through initiatives such as cooperative farming, artisanal crafts, or trade unions were seen as direct competitors to the economic interests of white Europeans. These efforts disrupted the dominance of European-owned businesses and threatened the exploitation of cheap labor, leading to resistance and attempts to hinder black economic empowerment. Furthermore, black communities' pursuit of economic independence challenged colonial economic control over African resources and markets, destabilizing colonial economies and diminishing the legitimacy of colonial rule. Number 7. Fear of Rebellion Throughout history, white Europeans and Americans feared rebellion from black people due to various factors. The prospect of revolt against slavery was a constant concern for white slaveholders, as the harsh conditions endured by enslaved black individuals, coupled with their desire for freedom, instilled fear of losing control and facing potential violence. This fear persists today, fueled by the guilt of past and ongoing exploitation of black people. White individuals understand the historical injustices perpetrated against black communities and fear the repercussions of this exploitation, leading to a persistent sense of insecurity and apprehension. As more black people achieve economic independence, the fear among white individuals grows, recognizing the limitless potential of black individuals to rise to prominence. This fear is deeply rooted in historical oppression and perpetuates a cycle of mistrust and inequality. In conclusion, the fear of black dominance and rebellion has historically driven white Europeans and Americans to view black individuals as a threat. Understanding the origins of this fear is crucial in addressing systemic inequalities and fostering a more inclusive society. Stay tuned for more insights from the Black History Archives and don't forget to subscribe and like our channel to support our work. Individuals could be undermining the foundational beliefs of white supremacy. Throughout history, white supremacist ideologies propagated the notion of black intellectual inferiority, aiming to justify racial discrimination and maintain white dominance. However, the emergence of intellectually accomplished black individuals shattered these stereotypes, posing a significant threat to the core principles of white supremacy. Black individuals who excelled in intellectual pursuits, whether in academia, literature, or the arts, challenged the prevailing narrative of black inferiority. Their achievements highlighted the fallacy of racial hierarchies based on intelligence and aptitude, unsettling the foundations of white supremacist ideology. Moreover, these accomplished black intellectuals served as role models for future generations, inspiring others to challenge systemic barriers and pursue excellence in their respective fields. The success of black intellectuals also posed a direct challenge to white hegemony in knowledge production and dissemination. By contributing to academic discourse and cultural production, they expanded the boundaries of accepted knowledge and perspectives, diversifying intellectual landscapes previously dominated by white voices. This diversification threatened the monopoly of white perspectives and challenged the authority of white institutions in defining truth and knowledge. Furthermore, the intellectual achievements of black individuals undermined the narrative of black cultural and moral inferiority perpetuated by white supremacists. By demonstrating intellectual prowess and moral integrity, black intellectuals debunked racial stereotypes and asserted the inherent dignity and worth of black people. Their contributions to academia, literature, and the arts not only enriched human knowledge and culture but also affirmed the humanity and equality of black individuals. In conclusion, the intellectual threat posed by accomplished black individuals undermined the foundations of white supremacy and challenged hegemonic structures of knowledge and power. By challenging racial stereotypes and asserting their intellectual capabilities, black intellectuals played a crucial role in dismantling systems of oppression and advancing the cause of racial equality. Their legacy continues to inspire future generations in the ongoing struggle for justice and equity. 
The acknowledgement of black individuals' potential, given equal opportunities, could potentially challenge the entrenched systems of racial superiority that underpin white-dominated societies. White Europeans and Americans, fearing the erosion of their perceived supremacy, sought to suppress black voices and ideas to maintain their control over social and political structures. As black intellectuals gained prominence, advocating for social justice and equality, they disrupted the status quo of racial oppression and threatened the stability of white-dominated societies. The rise of black intellectuals posed a challenge across various domains, including education, employment, and leadership roles. As black individuals excelled academically and professionally, they competed for resources and opportunities previously reserved for white counterparts. This competition was perceived as a threat to white privilege and the established power structures favoring white individuals. Throughout history, black individuals have been viewed as a sexual threat by white Europeans and Americans, rooted in ingrained stereotypes and biases. These perceptions, stemming from colonial and slavery-era ideologies, portrayed black men as sexually aggressive predators, justifying the exploitation and mistreatment of black individuals, particularly black women. Concerns about miscegenation, interracial relationships, and offspring posed a threat to the perceived purity of white lineage, leading to the enactment of racist laws and social norms. The legacy of slavery, colonization, and systemic racism has left profound scars on the black community, leading some white individuals to fear retribution for past injustices. Despite advancements in civil rights, some perceive themselves as holding disproportionate power and privilege compared to black people, fostering feelings of insecurity and apprehension. Instances of social unrest and protest can heighten fears of retribution, as some white individuals interpret acts of resistance as challenges to their authority and control. The social structure in white-dominated societies is built on a racial hierarchy, where white individuals hold the top positions of power and privilege. Challenges to this hierarchy, such as demands for equality and justice from black individuals or communities, threaten the established order. Efforts to politically empower black individuals, through voting rights and representation in government, are also seen as threats to white political dominance. The potential loss of power and privilege is perceived as a threat to white supremacy and control. These fears and perceptions have deep historical roots and continue to shape attitudes and behaviors in contemporary society. Rather than engaging in healthy competition, white Europeans and Americans have often sought to marginalize black individuals to maintain their dominance. In the comments section below, share your thoughts on the ongoing perception of black Africans as a threat and whether these dynamics persist today. If you'd like us to explore more topics, support us by subscribing to the Black History Archives and clicking the bell icon for notifications. Check out our channel for more insightful videos.